What up, players? It's Warboss Tape in this mood. Welcome to the How to Paint a Vargeist Warboss tutorial. Spooky, these guys. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here's my fully built up and painted test model. And um, the model that we're actually gonna be painting is this guy over here doing the windmill. Woo! So um, if you want a list of all the paints, just check out the, the video description at the bottom. And um, we are gonna get started. So this is the kind of uh, eventual color scheme that we're gonna have. So um, you know that's 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 what we're we're building to. So you don't have to skip all the way to the end of the video to see what it's gonna look like at the end. All right. So step one, we are going to take carried in granite, <laughs> and we are going to paint it over the entire model. Oh my poor carried in granite. <clears throat> to buy more since I spilled it. I don't want it to um, be the last bottle that I ever use because it's such a great such a great color. I use it for all my basing. It's really nice. Okay, so carried in granite. Hope you're all having a happy Easter. thinking since I'm filming this Easter morning it's probably not gonna get rendered and uploaded till tonight possibly tomorrow morning so happy belated Easter ah the holidays already passed in your area the thing I noticed with these larger models they don't stick as well to the cork uh, as the smaller models do or that could just be because I need to freshen my um, blue tack but yeah whatever I'm dipping my brush into a little bit of water before just about every time I go into the, the paint pot. And since this is a base coat, what that does is it just allows you to get it uh, kind of, you know, watery and mixed up when, when you paint it on. So it's not as much of a worry that I'm not using it straight off the paint palette. And um, you especially want a thick coat because for most of the skin, this isn't going to be the, the eventual skin color, skin tone. We're gonna um, be using. This is just to go over the uh, the base coat or the undercoat. I mean, of of gray. Or if you if you're undercoating your models black, then yeah. So after I'm done with this, I'm gonna let this dry. We'll come back in step two and get started on. Uh, the different areas of flesh and the wing. I love how it looks like his 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 arm is transforming into the wing. And you can still see like his his hand, the outline of structure of what his hand is supposed to look like. The only thing I said, which I think I mentioned in the in the <coughs> unboxing product review, is that I'm kind of sad that there's not more posability with these guys. I guess there really can't be because of how big these wings are, but I remember when the first rumors of these guys came out and they were like, monstrous infantry that can fly? That is going to change the game, my son. And I see a lot of great army lists and tactics built around, built around these uh, Vargeists. So they seem to be doing really well. Heck, they were voted the most popular for when I was doing my survey of what kind of model you wanted me to unbox so that's good the um this this card in granite is going to be the eventual coloring for the hair all the hair pieces so so of everything you want to make sure that you know these the mohawk and all of those bits we get we definitely get that um, base coated in this card in granite color and it's just such a great color this dark brown um, I think I, I'm not sure, but I was looking at some of the um, great vampire counts models and conversions that people have done, <clears throat> and the one in the graveyard where it looks like nighttime. Um, it, it looks like to me that Cardin Grant was was used a lot to get that that muted um, color scheme to look like it was at night. Um, but yeah, for those of you who've seen it, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so while that's drying, we can actually 
Can we do anything else at this point? No, we should wait. We should probably wait, but there, there's something we can do that isn't probably going to bother us so much. We're going to paint his pants, which aren't really his pants, but it's just like a fur coating over his legs with Calton Brown. Step two, Calton Brown, thin down. This I'm gonna be putting onto my wet palette and getting it to a good consistency. Then you want to avoid the fur and then just paint around to about like mid calf. It's you know supposed to simulate like the brown fur that he would have on his his legs. If you've seen the um, the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is uh, I kind of think that's kind of where they got the inspiration for this guy, the bat creature, because it just looks so so much like the Gary Oldman costume in that the end of that movie. Um, vampire butt crack. All right. That is good. We can get started on some of the drier areas of his skin skin area now. We're going to be using the Hennep Stone and um, Talarn Flesh for the rest of the model. So the Stone is going to go onto his um, skin and Talarn Flesh for the wings. So step three, Deneb Stone onto the body. We're going to start with his legs. Another thing that's going to remain um, this this color. Sorry, I need to get a little bit closer. Another thing that's going to remain this color of um, carrot and granite is the talons. So be careful that you don't paint over the talons as well. Such a great model. I was painting up. I was painting it up last night. My uh, test model, and you know when you're when you're painting something and you get really inspired, and the time just seems to pass, and everything just kind of seems to like painting is so much fun for me. And uh, I used to, for those of you who've watched my videos, you know that I've used to just really not be into the painting side of it. But um, since getting back into it after college, it's like like my thing now that I really enjoy about the hobby. The thing about this windmilling guy is that you have to get back to this angle over here by his wing. This is going to be a troublesome area, I can just tell. Alright, <clears throat> let's continue. stone that I've watered down in my wet palette. Now denim stone is also going to be the color of these um, bony spikes for the wings so you can actually start that now get the that color onto the wing areas just as a guide if nothing else for when you're painting in the wings later um,
So you can see how messy I'm being and I'm not really worrying about it because these are just guides for me for later. <coughs> so I'm gonna, this is just how I'm gonna do this one side. I'll finish his other side and the rest of his body and then um, in the next part of the video we will paint the wings themselves after I let everything dry. So anything that you would constitute as the vampire, the Vargai skin tone, paint in Deneb stone. Okay, I've decided because of the weird angle that what I'm just going to do is I'm going to paint the whole wing with uh, this Deneb stone color for this step. And then when we get to the next part, which is the flesh, uh, flesh color, palarn flesh, then we'll just... Uh, put it into the more prominent areas of the wing and I'm doing this because when we have to paint the flesh I don't want the I don't want to miss any parts or pieces and then have them end up being um, what, what what do you call it just to look uneven so yeah really great detail I remember back when I first started collecting and we had the old metal wyvern kits and they had these plastic wings, and um, and then some people might like them just for the nostalgia factor. But I could never, uh, I, I I never really liked them. They looked too too perfect for me. That was back in the in the nineties, you know. So I'm an old man when it comes to these games. And when you do this, you make sure. It's like you're you're sure that you cover every angle of these um, bony, what would you call them, these bony bits in between the wings. I know what you're saying, uh oh, it's starting to look like the box art, but don't worry, like I show you the finished product, it's gonna look nothing like the box art. Or if you want something that's like the GW color scheme, then just follow this guide and then I'll tell you when when you can diverge. And for one thing, the guys on the box are, don't have pants, like mine do. My crazy bloodthirsty vampires are civilized. They don't go to battle without pants, even though they're bloodthirsty crazy psycho monsters. So I was reading the Empire book. <laughs> Speaking of of uh, totally natural transi transitions, I was reading the Empire book, and um, I see that there's no mention of the Storm of Magic. Um, seems like Archaon is is mentioned as like a little bit, but there's no <coughs> there's no Storm of Magic. Luther Hust. <coughs> His whole involvement in getting Valtin, the reborn of Sigmar, to fight for <coughs> the Empire in the Storm of Magic is like totally been retconned out. Um, very butterfly effect. Like, yeah, here's this special character that was specifically created for a campaign, but we're gonna keep him and um, we're just going to retcon the complete campaign out of existence so people don't like new players and little kids don't um, have to know about it or be aware of what it was to get into the hobby and it really like these new paints these new models the way that they've been retconning things and changing some rules to make them easier um, just kind of makes it seem like GW is really pushing to get kids whose parents have disposable income more into the hobby, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, this, at this point, if you want um, to fix any mistakes you made, like onto the uh, the pants or onto the, um, the hair, if you kind of messed up, then this is when you could do it while we're waiting for the denim stone to dry. Um, but you might notice that most of the model is just going to be <coughs> a bunch of washes and um and and like really fine highlights rather than rather than painting a whole bunch of different colors so this is really going to help you get your models 
onto the field really quickly. Uh, especially if you want, if you've got the income, you've got the money to buy a whole bunch of Vargeists. And, um, and you want to get them out to the field to test out the Vargeist, the, I think it was called the Flying Horde of, of Death Tactic. You have something like 18 Vargeists flying across the field at full, full tilt, then this is definitely a quick and easy way to do that. I just wish these stupid wings weren't so in the way. All right, I'm gonna um, continue cleaning. Let let the the denim stone and all these other colors dry. When they're totally dry, then we'll begin with the, uh, the 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 wings and then the washes. Just to let you know, for this next step, you're gonna need um, talarn flesh right here and. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a different brush and we're going to be painting into the actual um, the actual wings. So one of these are dry right now, so I'll, one of the wings is dry. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll do it for you, and then um, and then I'll cut the camera so that you can finish yourself. So I'll show you on this wing here. Just gonna take your Thailand flesh. Try as much as possible not to get any onto the Deneb stone spiky bits. Kinda reminds me of like a pterodactyl. I'm using a fine detail brush, not because it's the best thing to use on these big surface areas, but because in between each wing and uh, thingy, you need that kind of control. Brush control, something you can only get through practice in this hobby, but totally, totally worth it, totally worth honing, honing your eye and, oh, this brush. And um, practicing so that you can improve. I need a better fine detail brush. This one is ready for the trash. my friends brand new brush never before used until now army painter what is it hobby highlighting so I'm not really using it for what it's meant for I'm using it to do like detail work for the base coat but it's all right there so you see how I build from the inside where these Spines are, and then I just build towards the center. That's all you do. So you just keep doing this all the way to the end, and then you do the other side. It will take me forever, and I don't want to, um, you know, make such a huge file. So I'm going to keep going, and then I'll show you what it looks like when um, when I'm completely done. Okay, at this point, your model should look something like this after you take the time to uh, paint in all the wings. And this looks pretty cool by itself. Um, pale color contrasted with darks. And um, if anything, what we're also gonna do is paint in the tips of his uh, claws with keratin granite in this step. So a little tiny step, just make sure all the claws, talons um, are painted carried in granite to match with the with his mohawk so 
Vampire has a mohawk. He's from Jersey Shore. So you guys should look something like this at this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get onto the washes. First wash we're going to use is the dab black. And that is going to go on his pants, <laughs> pants, and all of the um, mech, not mech, right? Uh, Carried in granite areas. So his loin fur the fur on the backs of his legs, his mohawk, and his spiky hair. This windmilling pose. So lame. You have a hard time reaching the parts you need to paint. Looks like he's going woo 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 three stooges character. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so next step. We are going to paint over the entire model, Ogren Flesh. And because we're going over the entire model, you just gotta make sure that you're very careful on not letting anything pool or get too crazy. Spread the spread the wash out as much as you can. This we're act we're actually not going over the whole model. We're actually just hitting the. Um, Anything that's colored denim stone or talarn flesh. I predict that my phone will ring in a couple of seconds. Bottom of his stockings. Um, back here. I just want to make sure nothing pools before you have a chance to get in there and spread it around so that it doesn't leave watermarks. Watermarks on your models are the worst. I'm gonna answer this, and while I do, uh, you guys finish the wash.